Welcome back. Greg's dead. I'm Kat. <laughs> so, there was a lot of stuff that upset me this week. First one, Bono. America is like the best idea the world ever came up with. But Donald Trump is potentially the worst idea that ever happened to America. Really? Trump's the worst idea to ever happen to America? Remember when you tried to force your crappy album into all of our iTunes accounts two years ago? And of course, you clearly forgot all the other awful ideas in the history of this country, you know, like slavery, prohibition, slavery. But there's recent stuff, too, like Hillary Clinton's idea to use a personal server to discuss sensitive information, which may have put our national security at risk just for the sake of her own convenience. Anthony Weiner's idea to ever pick up a smartphone. <laughs> Whoever had the idea to give Tila Tequila her own show. And I've seen every episode, so I'm completely qualified to pass judgment. Um, cummerbunds, not stylish, sexy, or even practical. Seriously, here's something that has never been said. Ooh, sweet cummerbund, let's have sex. <laughs> How about the McRib? Actually, no, the, the McRib's kind of nice. I can't pretend I'm too good for the McRib, so take it down, please. Uh, okay, but you know what is bad? The social pressure to use chopsticks. Why should I? I have to eat sushi with a utensil that I suck at. Which reminds me, word up to my boys at Panda Express for inventing the chork. It's real nice. Anyway, Bono, you're wrong about Trump, and I don't like when celebrities tell me how to think. Which brings me to this celebrity voting ad. You only get this many famous people together at the issues. One that truly matters to all of us. A disease or... Ecological crisis or... A racist, abusive coward who could permanently damage the fabric of our society. We cannot pretend both sides are equally unfavorable. We can't say one vote doesn't matter. Your vote matters. Your vote matters. Make yourself heard. Tell the world that you care about what happens to it. Are people really voting because celebrities are telling them to vote? If you do that, you probably buy a Vino face wash thinking that's what Jennifer Aniston actually uses. <laughs> Everyone knows she washed her face with Angelina's tears. Um, remember, people, in 2012 when Miley Cyrus told you to vote, and then you did, and then she came to your house to tell you how cool that was, and now you're best friends? No, because that does not happen. Sorry, fanboys, but you will never impress Iron Man and the Incredible Hulk by voting. They don't care what you do, because they don't know you exist, and you will never meet them. Speaking of face wash, I can't stand when people use the KKK as some type of proof that all Trump supporters are racist. For example, Elizabeth Warren this week. Let's face it. Donald Trump has more support from Aryan Nation and the KKK than he does from leaders of his own party. The worst of the worst doesn't represent a whole group. A lot of Beatles fans were in Charles Manson's cult. Is that a representation of all Beatles fans? I'm a Beatles fan. Does that mean I'll probably be joining a drugs and sex-fueled murderous cult any day now? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, sounds kind of fun. But what about the worst of the worst of Hillary Clinton supporters? Like the Orlando shooter's father, who after the shooting said that God will punish homosexuals and use that as an example of what all our supporters are like? Or maybe, just maybe, the handpicked worst of the worst of a group doesn't say something about the entire group. And finally, my main bros of Gary Johnson. On Thursday, this happened. I think I could stand up there for the whole debate and not say anything. And, and I'm really sad to all of you Now, for some reason, there were some jerky, jerk faced cable news hosts who made fun of Johnson for this. The stakes are high, as high as Gary Johnson. <laughs> who we are and what we've done, and not based on that. I think I could stand up there for the whole debate and not say anything, and, and I'm really sad to all of you. She is so turned on. <laughs> I think we found our new president. Here's the thing. Getting busted with your tongue sticking out can happen to anyone. How could you be surgeon. chill and be a surgeon? That's such a not chill thing to do. <laughs> so my the favorite moment was when... That's so not chill. Trump said... <laughs> See, it happens to even the most brilliant people sometimes. So leave my little Gare Bear alone. Can I get an exclamation point? Exclamation point. <laughs>